Hey there, Langley Leopards. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do our second art project for the year. So today, all you're gonna need is paper, pencil, and markers or crayons, and your hand. So we're gonna make a hand art project today. And you guys are gonna practice tracing. So when you trace, you have to remember that you hold down whatever you're tracing, and today it's gonna to be your hand, and then you're gonna go real slow all the way around but you're gonna do it on your paper. But look how my pencil is touching the edge of my fingers, okay? So I'm going to, I'm gonna do mine with marker so you can see, but I want you to do yours with crayon. So I'm gonna hold my hand down real tight and I'm going to draw, trace around. It's important that you hold up your drawing utensil so that you don't make your fingers too skinny. All right, now if you wanna just do your hand instead of your arm too and you wanna trace it a couple times, that's okay. Now, if I said this was your art, that would be boring. So what I want you to do I want you to practice all those lines we've been doing. So I'm gonna make my hand really, really cool and artsy. I think I'm gonna start with a zigzag line. And I'm gonna make a couple zigzag lines and maybe then I'm gonna add some spiral lines in there. And of course, I want you to do this with your pencil first. And then I'm gonna add some wavy lines. And then maybe next I'm going to do some dotted lines. And then I'm going to do some straight lines. But look how I'm filling up all my space. I'm taking my time. And I, even though it doesn't have to look real, it's just lines, you're making them nice and neat. Maybe I'll do another zigzag line. But look what I'm going to do in front of my zigzag. Maybe I'm going to do some little zigzag lines or parts of the zigzag line I'm making. I want you really thinking like an artist. And I thought you guys did a great job last week on your art. But I think because you're at home and you're not in Miss Jones's classroom, I think some of you are going a little too fast and you're not taking your time. So remember to think like an artist and go slow. Take your time. Of course, have fun, but I want you guys to slow down a little bit. So once you've finished your, your hand design like that, it might look something like, something like this, and it's okay if it doesn't look like mine. You know that. But you could also do some stuff in the background to make it more interesting. Now, I really don't want you adding color today, but if you really are excited about it, you can trace your lines with crayon or with marker. And you know when I mean trace, I mean go over top of your line. Don't color it in this week. We're going to color it in together next week, okay? So all you need is your hand. Trace your hand real slow. And then I want you to add your designs nice and neat and your thinking like an artist. Does this look interesting or does this look sloppy? Okay, I want you guys to have fun, but I want you to slow down and I want you to think like an artist. Okay, I'm excited to see these. I can't wait to do these with you this week. Love you. Bye.